Hello viewers. Uh, as you can see, I got my dirty clothes on. That means we're fixing to get dirty. This will be a video series on renovating an old mobile home trailer. Um, initially, I was going to sell this thing, but I think we'll just keep it and rent it out. It's such a beautiful property out here. You know, I know it's a mobile home, but it'll be nice when I'm done. I'll take you for a walk. Probably to be three or four video series, depending on how long it takes me. All right, let's look at the flooring here. I, t I brought a shampooer in. I thought, well, I'd give it a try. It didn't do anything. It still stinks in here. So I've got to replace some flooring there on the kitchen. I'll have to redo the kitchen. Um, flooring right here. Pull out all the old carpet. Fix any spots. Paint this sucker. Call it good. Are y'all tired of hearing me talk? Let's get to work. I just cut a little piece out and took it into Lowe's to get the right thickness. Uh, it's three quarter on this house. Just trace this out. Right here, I wanna make sure this is on a joint on a two by six or whatever that's under there. That should be good right there. That's probably good on that corner. I'll set the depth of my saw here.
pet it too big, but whatever. get the idea I'm trying to not burn this place down and use that metal disc to get all the glue and stuff off they glue these floors down which is good but just hard to get off use this angle grinder. I think I'll put two sets of brushes. I've shortened the cord a couple times. It's been a good angle grinder. I wouldn't fix a if this wasn't a DeWalt, I probably wouldn't fix it, but I like it. Just got a short circuit in the cord, probably. Yeah, right there, maybe. Hopefully an easy fix. Uh, let's see about putting this cord cap on, too. I think that goes right in there. It broke off at one point in time. I just keep cutting it down. <laughs> and I'm fixing to be back in business. Uh, maybe. Let me go get a stripper. Do the right, get the right tool for the job. All right. If you guys are wondering why these things are allowed on the job not having a ground prong, it's because they're double insulated, meaning the motor is completely isolated from um, ground. So even if you it has a fault to the motor, if you touch it, you won't get shocked because it's isolated. That's why it's allowed on job sites not having a ground prong or a GFCI protection just so you know
probably always wondered that. Well, now you know. And I think we'll just, you can twist these backwards, left, It makes a good twist. This is just a switch, so it doesn't matter which side's which. It just closes that circuit. Give it a good pull. Okay, how'd that go in there? I've only had this apart 20 times. Oh. Uh, it goes like that. It goes like that. Where'd that cord grip go, guys? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Like that. Yeah, no one's outside. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Alright, let me plug this dude in. See if we got some sparks or if it works. I'm just using a metal diamond tip blade. It smokes like a Dickens and it'll probably start a fire, so it's not a how to video, but. It's what I'm using. I like working with it. I wouldn't put a regular blade on here for, for um, you know, wood blade on this because the first time it kicks back, you're going to lose a finger. I don't know. Metal cutting blade, I'm just going through and kind of grinding down the glue mainly, cutting through the nails, grinding down the glue. Uh, Let's see, what else? We'll finish this corner up and then I'll drop this last piece of wood in. Oh wait, I got a little bit more right there. That little glue, can you see that glue?
this here and then I'll screw it on both sides of all the joints. Kind of stiffen the floor up. Right where the joints are. It stiffens it up good. And then I'll screw the other side in. You get the idea. Moment of truth. Let's put this last piece in. Or one of the last. I've got to replace this little piece too. Anyway. Got to make sure there's no pieces under there. Make sure, I'm going to make sure it's flat. Alright. She fits. Screw this thing down. I should have marked the floor. Where are we at? Get the idea, screw her down, and then screw these pieces in, these two by flushes it up and makes it strong, in my opinion. Alright, well, that's it on this. I'm gonna call it good. It's like midnight out on a Saturday. I don't know how you guys spend your Saturdays, but. I've been at this for a while, uh, off and on, you know, five, six hours here and there. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, renovating an old mobile home, uh, the floor. So, I'll show you a couple tips. I've got a couple tips on this. Let me show you. Uh, that used to be the kitchen. Sheet of plywood there, there, there replaced, right here, right there, uh, the hallway, all the way down the hallway I replaced, right here, if you look in the bathroom, yeah it's a, it's a patchwork quilt, but if you look at this wall right here, you got one stud right there, and then you have to go into this room. Let me turn on the light. Yeah, that's the light switch for right now is screwing in the light bulb. Right here is the other stud on the other side of the wall. So, how'd I do that? Well, you know, I fought that one. Fought it hard, got it in there with a shovel, jacking up the wall. Fought that one, same way. This one, no, that one, I got a high lift jack and jacked up the wall from underneath the house. This one, I fought it. This one right here, man. I figured out how to do these, easy. 
I took, if you look right here on the wall, I've got a bunch of screw holes. There's a stud right behind there. I took my high lift jack, set it on the floor right there, put a block of wood right here and do, 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 jack that wall up and slid that piece right underneath it. So, worked pretty good. Uh, half of the, half is on this side and half is on that side. So, tip of the day right there, man. A high lift jack or a jack, a block of wood and jack that wall right up. Able to slide that piece of plywood under there. That's why it's all patchwork right through there. So, all right, got all that. Got a piece in this room I replaced. Right there, that, that piece. Let's turn the light off. It's like midnight out. So, um, I'm still debating on whether I should do the door right here. I might put a piece in there. Ooh, it gets kind of creepy back here. And right there, I replaced that piece right there. Now, the studs run this way. There's a stud there and a stud there. Now, what I did was I put a piece of um, plywood back there, just under the floor, and then I put my a piece of wood and then lifted up the wood and screwed it in. So that's a real sturdy piece. You see what I'm saying? There's a piece, there's a ledge. I put a piece back there and then a piece of plywood under it to where it sat up in there as a ledge and then I brought it out and then it dangled there and I screwed it in, which holds this wall up and it gives this a nice sturdy base. And then of course, I did the old piece of plywood there, piece of plywood there, and then there's the stud. So another tip. We'll go outside. I'll show you this place at night. Here's this place at night. I've got all the security lights off. It is dark out. Not a soul around. There's a house over there. You can see their light. But that's it, man. Just blackness of darkness out here. It's kind of creepy. You can't see a thing, can you? That's uh, I'm panning around. Can you see anything, guys? Here's the house. What? Did you hear that? It's dark out, huh? There's the house. It's such a nice place out here. That's why I'm renovating this thing. 